my peeps. Um, today, Tom and I are going out on the golf course and we are going to go through a, a few things that have crept up during our discussions. One being laying up. Um, we've done a quite a few on-course lessons recently and it is a conversation that I think we should have. So we're going to play a few holes, see what comes up and let you know. So the white tees are back there in the trees. And then we've got the yellows, and then we've got the reds here. So, part five, Tom? Yeah. yeah. How do we play it? How do you see this? Because this is obviously very different off the reds compared to what it is off the... So, the line here, back up there, I'm almost thinking, right, I can get it out of those right-hand bunkers, and if it doesn't come back, I'm okay. Yeah. Here, I've got to take a bit of a straighter loop through. Yeah. So what are you going for, the trees in the background or...? I'm maybe going for that bunker up the right hand side. Okay. Because if I'm, up, if I'm in that first cut of rock, again, probably a good player thing, if you're sat in that first cut, it looks nice and lush, you can yep. get to the top of it. Yep. Where if you try to turn it back? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I'm only penning if you've gone right, so I've had my golf swing. It's been alright so far. Well, that was a beautiful swing. <laughs> so what, ch what changes for you? Um, so How I'm, do you see this differently at me then? Yeah, so I'm, I think if I can try and hit it slightly right to left, I'm gonna be all right, yeah. I think. So I'm gonna just try and aim right and see if I can hit it right to left. So key thing I reckon for you, don't get too far left on the tee, because okay. then you're going yes. at like a 30 degree angle. Yeah, so if I kind of this side a bit more, yeah. I'm like at the same bunker that you hit it at. Yeah, and that will feel like you're aiming, you're aiming up the right, yeah. but you're not aiming way right. Yeah. And again, just pick up, there's probably, a, there's a divot probably there now, yeah. that's nicely kind of in line. Yeah. Hit it as hard as you can at that, that yeah. divot. So you get the five wood, yeah. it's nice soft grass in it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's and it's kind of it's not it's not set up but it's not it's not I don't have to get an iron at that. But I nah. don't think I could get a three wood unless I dug at it and I don't want to do Yeah, that. that's the last thing we want on this shot. It's just chase getting it it'll chase out of that lie, won't it? Yeah. Shot. No finesse in that, but... <laughs> yeah, I tell you what. So this is the entrance of the par five. So we have this tree here, um, and we've got a bunker. So what were you just saying there, Tom? Just before I turned on the camera. <laughs> I just, I'd rather take my chances out of that bunker. Yeah. Than be back there on the flat. Yeah. Because in, I don't know, it could be an eight, nine iron whatever it is, you're going to have to either touch those trees or play from front of that corner. Yeah, but that's the kind of scenario we were talking about with people trying to lay up and saying that I'm going to lay up to my 100 yards. Well, 100 yards is kind of down there and they've got to contend with that, that and that. Whereas if you kind of just smash it down here. Yeah, as far up there as you can. Yeah, because now we've got two shots that are like what, 30 yards and 20 yards or something from the green? And that's, that's the whole kind of Brody, Rob Neal whole thing of get inside 30 yards, yeah. that has a big influence on your scoring. Because I'm not going to miss a green for 30 yards. Well, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> so you really, like, you, this one really suits your eye, yeah? Yeah, so this is, um, this is kind of, there's like a green patch before, I know it sounds 
obviously yeah. a green patch so you kind of just see it a little bit lower just still committed to it but just letting it have that hop yeah, hop forward Yeah. But I think that's the thing is like I say, even though you might hit it a bit strong, yeah. with that green, yeah. the green's facing us, that'll grip anyway. Why take a lob wedge and throw it up there when you don't really need to? Yeah. And the amount of people you see going, oh yeah, I'm just gonna lob it high and you're like, but well, there's nothing to go over. Yeah. I understand if people like using their wedges, but for me I kind of like seeing a slightly lower wedge shot. Yeah, it's just more playable, isn't it? See this then? If you you kind of got a little bit shorter shot than I have, what how do you see um these are the shots I've never spun them, so I always do see this just running its way in. So okay. Again, probably about the same place. Yeah. Playing for that run using kind of a, just a little bit of loft, not a huge amount. Get it right up on its toe and just let it skid. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. But God, it just kicked on a little bit maybe a bit firmer ground than yeah. played for or a bit over it but we're on the dance floor birdie chances me because i don't hit it as far as you i feel i need to hit it more to the left hand side okay just, and just as a, for a line in on the next one and then the thing you've got because like you say you're not thinking of it going quite as far you've got that little bit more room there so it's that thing of what we talked about that after that last tee shot yeah just staying be level with the level and to the right of that ball That sounded better. That's the big thing. That got a massive hop. That works. Right, thing so is. All of this grass, and I finish in this little bad boy. But grass is going with you. Yep. And, I can pull it up, going almost towards the target. Yeah. So you can get cleaner contact. Yeah, that's my excuse. I so, aim for that. It's, this, this is after the battle. Sometimes when you're playing, you might get a bad break, but you've sometimes got to yeah. roll. You have to roll. take it, don't you? Yeah. You can't do anything about it. I've seen people try and move them. <laughs> right, so I've got 85. Um, I've got my 50 degree, because 85 is kind of close to the last hole on the academy course. Yeah. So just thinking about something like that. Yeah, see that's the way I always like to see it. People, rather than thinking it's a yardage, go back to a previous shot. You've hit that shot loads of times and hit it close. Just got a little bit of grass between club and ball. Yeah. So that's taken probably a third of the spin off. Oh wow. So that's where you get a launchy. So it launches up and weirdly it comes off slower. Okay. But because it's got a better combination of launch and spin, it goes further. So that's what that's what a flyer really is. It'll take off high with less spin, so you get more distance without actually having to swing it faster or even hit the ball. That's good, but it's unpredictable. Yeah, and but you kind of there's not a lot you can do with one of those. Again, that's the you've got to find it and just hit the next one instead of having yeah. to stress over it. And you, it's kind of uh, sometimes you kind of think, oh, I'll play conservative, play up short, which means you might end up short of the green rather than there you've gone for the flag a little bit more. Yeah. This is Tom's tee shot, and what are you like 15 yards short of the green? Something, yeah. Probably Disgusting. Right, yeah. So the fairway. It's all the way back up there, somewhere. So what club are you going for? It's a 9 iron. Okay. So now the green's going to slow the ball down, so rather than trying to take loft, thump it hard, use less loft to get a bit of speed on the ball. Yep. That sounded lush. That's very close. Oh, look at you, player. 
So, a lot of green to play with. Lots of green to play with. Shot. <laughs> Makes a birdie from everywhere. Wow. Um, I've seen so many people, this is the layup scenario, um, and they end up in a bunker anyway, or fat it into that crap. So I'm just going to hit it at that end bunker, and if it goes in it, it goes in it. So you're as far, you're up at then yeah. at the level of the green? Yeah. 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 No draw. Oh. And jumps out of the bunker. Yeah. See, again, like the chances are, a lot of the time, is it? I've seen that bounce out. Whereas if I said if I had to hit it there, I've still got 100 yards or something in. And, and then... you can't see the bottom of the flag. No. It becomes a tough shot. Yeah. So I was back down there, um, hit my five wood, uh, three wood actually, sorry. And there's all these bunkers around here. Like I said, I see so many times people laying up to this area here and then going over to there. But I've hit this bunker and it's bounced out. And it's actually not a bad line, is it? It's great. The thing is, it's a great line, isn't it? Yeah. Anything up this side. Yeah. But it's just kind of like that scenario. I've seen um, loads of people lay up and then still end up in one of these bunkers. So what's the point? Yeah, exactly. Give it a smash. So the last hole proved the point about the laying up scenario. So I had 85 yards to the green and took a flyer and finished like 20 yards past the green. So imagine you've done a really nice tee shot and you're laying up to your favourite yardage and then you fly the green by 15 yards under a tree. Um, so yeah, have a think. Do you really need to lay up or can you go for it? Obviously what's in front of you is going to make a big